Ever wondered who pulls the strings behind the global stage? They say it's all about the 13 family bloodlines. Welcome to the shadowy world of the 13 bloodlines, families that, according to some, have the world wrapped around their fingers. They're the puppeteers behind the curtain, the unseen force that molds our reality. Rumors swirl and theories abound about these families. Their names whispered in hushed tones, their influence felt in every corner of the globe. From the highest echelons of power to the smallest village, it's said that their reach knows no bounds. Imagine, if you will, a vast chessboard. On one side, the world's nations and leaders, each making their moves and countering the other's strategies. But on the other side, unseen and unchallenged, sit these 13 families, guiding the game's progress with an almost supernatural foresight. Their pieces, resources, governments, economies. They're the grandmasters, moving these elements with an ease that comes from centuries of practice. They control the gold, the oil, the diamonds, and the data. They shape policies, erect governments, and bring down economies. But let's be clear, this is a controversial topic, a complex and intricate web of claims and counterclaims. To some, it's a conspiracy theory, a fanciful tale spun by those looking for someone to blame. To others, it's a chilling reality, a silent war waged in boardrooms and secret societies. The 13 bloodlines are a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. They're the stuff of legend, of whispers and rumors, of fear and fascination. They're the subject of countless books, documentaries, and late night discussions. They're the fuel for our imaginations and the fodder for our fears. But who are these 13 families and how much of these tales are true? We're about to embark on an exploration, a journey into the heart of this enigma. So buckle up and let's plunge into the mystery of the 13 bloodlines. The 13 bloodlines are said to be some of the oldest and most powerful families on Earth. Each is a dynasty of incredible wealth and influence, tracing their lineage back through centuries of kings, queens, and emperors. Let's delve into a brief introduction of these families. There's the Astor bloodline with their historical ties to real estate and opulent hotels. The Bundy family, who have held significant positions in law, politics, and even the CIA. The Collins line, known for their influence in the world of entertainment. The DuPont family, whose wealth was built on gunpowder, chemicals, and biotechnology. The Freeman bloodline, a name that's cropped up time and again in American politics. The Kennedy family, a political dynasty that needs no introduction. The Lee family, a powerful force in the Asian financial and political sphere. The Onassis bloodline, intertwined with shipping and oil. The Reynolds family, a name synonymous with the tobacco industry. The Rockefeller line, with their roots in oil and a pervasive influence in American institutions. The Rothschild family, a banking dynasty that's left an indelible mark on global finance. The Russell bloodline, linked to the Ivy League institution, Yale University. And finally, the Van Doyne family, a lineage shrouded in mystery. It's important to note that the list of these families can vary depending on who you ask. Some might include the Merovingian bloodline, believed to be the descendants of royal French lineage, while others might bring up the Disney bloodline, a name that's dominated the entertainment industry for decades. These families, with their historical roots and influence, have been pivotal in shaping the world as we know it. They've built empires, waged wars, and brokered peace. They've influenced politics, finance, industry, and culture. They've left their mark on history, and continue to wield their power and influence in various ways. But the question that remains, the one that we'll delve into as we continue our journey is, these families have left their marks on history, but to what extent do they control our world today? From politics to finance, these families are rumored to have their hands in everything. Now, let's delve into the different sectors these families are said to control. Picture the world as a grand chessboard with each piece representing a different sector of society. The families of the 13 bloodlines are not the pawns, but the players, strategically moving the pieces to suit their own agendas. In the realm of politics, they're said to be the puppet masters, pulling the strings behind the scenes. From presidents and prime ministers to diplomats and ambassadors, it's whispered that no decision is made without their consent. They're believed to dictate policies, manipulate elections, and even start wars. 
all to maintain control and reshape the world according to their vision. Then, let's talk about finance. The economic fabric of the world is supposedly woven by these families. They're believed to control the central banks of many countries, influencing interest rates, inflation, and exchange rates. By regulating the flow of money, they can create financial booms and crashes at will, affecting the wealth of nations and individuals alike. Next, we move to the media. It's suggested that they own major news outlets, publishing houses and entertainment companies. Through these platforms, they can sway public opinion, suppress dissenting voices, and shape cultural norms. In essence, they're accused of controlling the narrative that shapes our reality. Lastly, they're even rumored to have a significant influence over scientific research and healthcare. By funding specific research projects and controlling pharmaceutical companies, they can direct the development and distribution of drugs, potentially impacting our health and well-being. Their influence is believed to extend globally, reaching into every corner of the world and affecting numerous aspects of everyday life. From the food we eat to the news we consume, from the leaders we elect to the medicines we take, it's suggested that their control is ubiquitous. But is there any truth to these claims? Or are they just conspiracy theories? Well, that's a question we'll delve into in the next segment. Stay tuned. Sorting fact from fiction can be a challenge when it comes to the 13 bloodlines. As we delve deeper into this mystery, we must tread lightly and critically, as the territory we're about to explore is fraught with controversy and speculation. Let's begin by acknowledging that these families do exist, and yes, they have held significant power throughout history. Their wealth and influence have undeniably shaped economic, political, and social landscapes across the globe. Kings, queens, presidents, and prime ministers have emerged from these bloodlines, and their fingerprints are certainly present on many pages of our history books. However, the claim that these 13 families currently control every aspect of our world is where we enter the realm of contention. Critics argue that in an age of globalization and rapid technological progress, it's implausible that a small group could maintain such pervasive control without detection. They point to the rise of new money and power centers, such as tech giants and emerging economies, that challenge the traditional power structures these families represent. On the other hand, believers in the theory maintain that these families have adapted to changing times concealing their influence behind layers of corporations, trusts, and shadowy organizations. They argue that the family's control is more subtle and insidious, influencing world events through financial systems, media control, and political puppeteering. However, it's crucial to approach these theories with a healthy dose of skepticism. As intriguing as they may be, many claims lack concrete evidence and rely heavily on conjecture and correlation. It's also important to remember that power and influence are complex and multifaceted, often distributed among a multitude of players, not just concentrated in the hands of a few. So where does that leave us? Are we living under the control of these 13 family bloodlines? The truth, as is often the case, likely lies somewhere in the middle, and as we continue to question and investigate, we must strive to separate the sensational from the substantiated, the myth from the reality. It's a fascinating, if not somewhat frightening, concept to consider. We've delved into the mystery of the 13 family bloodlines, unraveled who they are, and explored the extent of their global influence. It's a narrative woven with threads of power, secrecy, and conspiracy, a tale that stretches across centuries. We began our journey into the enigmatic world of the 13 bloodlines, families whose names echo down the corridors of time, from the Rothschilds to the Rockefellers, the Kennedys to the House of Windsor, these families have been whispered to be the puppeteers of global events. Their vast wealth, political connections, and business empires have formed a complex web of influence that spans the globe. As we ventured further, we discovered the scope of their global influence. From the economy to geopolitics, their fingerprints seem to be on every major turn of events. But here's the twist. It's a narrative as intricate as it is controversial. There are those who see it as a conspiracy, a fabrication of the paranoid mind. Others view it as an undeniable fact, a reality hidden in plain sight. The truth? Well, it's a puzzle that's yet to be fully solved. It's a topic that invites debate, 
encourages research and challenges our understanding of the world. Perhaps the biggest takeaway from all this is the importance of questioning, of not taking things at face value, and of seeking out knowledge for oneself. So as we wrap up our exploration of the 13 bloodlines, remember this. Each of us has the power to question, to explore, and to form our own opinions. Don't shy away from the hard questions or the complex answers. Dive into the research, sift through the facts and the theories, and decide for yourself. Whether you believe in the power of the 13 bloodlines or not, there's no denying their historical influence. Please subscribe for more content from Asking Annie, and don't forget to leave any topic suggestions in the comments. Until next time, keep asking those hard questions.